Ready? I want to count. Huh? You mean like one, two, three, four? No, I want to count big things. I want to count how many different ways something can happen if it happens in stages. So I want to talk about the MN rule. But first we need a definition. If an experiment consists of three steps, and if the first step can result in M outcomes, and the second step in N outcomes, and the third step in K outcomes, then the total outcomes for the experiment is M times N times K. Okay, now that we got that definition, let's see how that thing goes. Let's talk about first dates. What? You know, we're getting to know each other. Sure. Um, first date. What can you do on a first date? Why don't we just say maybe the beach, maybe the dinner, maybe the movie? Now, if order matters, they, we want to find out how many different distinct first dates we can have. Yes, this is like a girl's first date because order matters, right? You could, you could, you could, you could, here you are. You start out, you're at home. All right, maybe you pick her up, maybe you pick her up. Maybe, um, you guys meet somewhere. Anyway, you have three possibilities with these three um, options for the first part of your date. You can go to the beach, you can go to dinner, or you can go to the movie. Yes. So maybe you go to the beach first. I uh, know. Maybe you're like, um, let's not get into that. All right, sure. I'm not real good at the beach anyway. Every time you see me, I get a little wider. Okay. Um. Yes. If you go to the beach first, then you can go to dinner or a movie. Yeah, because your choice for the first part has already been made for you. You met up at the beach. So from the beach, you can go to dinner or a movie. Here you have two choices. On the first stage, you had three choices. Had you gone to dinner first, right? I know. Maybe you wanted to catch the uh, specials at around 4 o'clock or something like that. I don't know. Maybe you're on a budget. Baller. Yeah, had you gone to dinner first, or maybe the date just start late, you could go to the beach right after dinner. I'm not really sure. I think you're supposed to wait an hour. Or you can go to the movies. Yes. So then here you started out at dinner, and then from there you could have gone to the beach or the movies. You only had two choices. And then had you gone to the movies first, matinee, always cheaper. Mm-hmm. Um, you could have gone to the beach or to dinner after the movies. Sure. Uh-oh. I see where this is going to wind up. But what if you went to the beach first and then you went to dinner and you only had one more thing to do? That would be the movies. Yes. Okay. Had you gone to the beach and then you went to the movies, you wind up at dinner. It's a good place to wind up. Had you gone to dinner and then you went to the beach, mm-hmm, you are forced to go to a movie after that. Late night movie. Yeah. A little shorter lines. Dinner, movie, end up at the beach. Hey. Then down here, movie, beach, you're going to end up at dinner. For sure, for sure. Movie, dinner, end up at the beach. Okay, so then, this is beach, dinner, movie. Beach, movie, dinner. Remember, in this scenario, order matters. So then, dinner, beach, movie. Dinner, beach, movie. Right, uh-huh, dinner, movie, beach. Movie, beach, dinner. Movie, dinner, beach. Yeah, so here we see one, two, three, four, five, six. Could this have been gone? Could this have been um, found easier and quicker using the MN rule? Absolutely, and here we go. If this happens in stages, how many in my first stage? There is one in my, oh, you have three choices in the first stage. How many in the second stage? You have two choices in the second stage. How many in the third stage? One choice for the third stage. Using our MN rule, we would see that we would have three times two times one or six ways. And actually finding the ways wasn't the way that we wanted to do that. Let's apply this. Yes. Let's apply this to maybe skateboards. What? Uh-huh. So then, 
in this skateboard shop. Sure. I'm kind of bored. No. In this skateboard shop, you have a choice of three wheel package. Little wheels, right? Medium sized wheels and big old fatty old school wheels. Sure. You also have the choice of four trucks. What are trucks? Those are the things that hold the wheels to the board. Yeah? Um, maybe there are different manufacturers with different um, configurations and maybe you have four truck choices. And then the big choice, the deck. What do you want it to look like? This is the board. You know what I mean? We want to see how many different skateboards we can make. Let's find that out. Let's use the MN rule. Ready? 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 The MN rule says that I can find the number of boards that I can make by taking 3 times 4 times 25. Because it happens in stages. First you choose your wheels, then you choose your trucks, and then you choose your board. Or in the other ways, these are unrelated. So then, that's what? A hundred? Three hundred different boards. So now you're in the marketing department of this radical company, and you're like, um, we have 300 boards to choose from. And you're like, wow, that's quite the selection. Man, I wish I had my tech deck. <laughs> This'll work. Oh, oh.